right, we're about a half hour from Santa Barbara. Got the Pacific Ocean over here to my right. Um, a lot of trees, so it's hard to really take a peek into there. Before we lose the Pacific Ocean, though, I just wanted to, I don't know, man. I kind of miss it. I kind of miss the beach. Beach. Okay, spent the night here at Motel 6 in my hometown of San Bernardino. Um, it's a little after 5 in the morning and I've got to get out of here by 11. Um, I got in here at around 8 o'clock. Uh, I can feel something changing a little bit, and that's good and expected. Um, I left from Seattle a week and a day ago. I left on a Friday. Spent a couple days in Reading. Then I drove down to Fremont, spent three days down there. And then yesterday I left Fremont. And, uh, no, 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 the day before yesterday, I left Fremont and drove down to Morro Bay. Stayed there for a day, and then I met with my sister the next day, which was yesterday, when we drove down to Southern California together. You know, separately in, in cars, but, you know, I followed her, you know, most of the way down. And then she went on to my sister's, my other sister's, and then, uh, you know, I stayed here at the Motel 6, and, you know, this is kind of what my mind needed. And there's usually a point in every hotel stay that I have where I'm laying on a bed. Let me see if, I don't know if it's light enough that you can see this king size bed here. Where I'm laying on a bed and I'm thinking, damn, I need to stay here for three weeks. I just need to lay on this bed for three fucking weeks. <laughs> and that's the way it feels but I have uh, you know plans and one plan depends on another it depends on another it's kind of like a mind map you know where if this goes correctly and the stars align right there then this is going to happen and if that happens then this is going to happen etc so the loose version of it is that I'm going to stay here, um, not in this hotel, but in Southern California until around the Super Bowl. And there's a couple different places where I could stay that, you know, I've been offered, you know, I'm willing to pay rent and everything, but um, part of the contingency is that I get to work in a seasonal job and you know, there's a lot of seasonal jobs around the holiday season. It's just the nature of uh, you know life out there. Um, yeah, uh, the other thing too is the videos. I feel less compelled to do videos uh, when I'm in my, you know, when once I'm settled in like I'm here in my hometown. And I'm going to be seeing people face to face. And one of the reasons for the videos is to share with them. Hey, look, this is going on in my life. Hey, that's going on. Hey, this is going on in my life. <laughs> but I'm going to be talking to them now face to face and all. So I feel less compelled, I think, to be loading these videos. But I might keep doing them. I probably will. You know, I do them anyway. I just don't do them as often. But... When I was moving to the Northwest, every little thing, every little thing that was different, or you know, every, any emotion that was different, any sight that was different, I'm like, oh, I want to film this. I want to talk about this. And it was the same thing moving away. Oh, I don't want to forget this. I want to remember this. Even some of the bad things. Even some of the bad things, so you could learn from, you know, less than ideal circumstances or whatever. But that's that and uh yesterday 
I drank some of this Corona seltzer. You know, this Corona seltzer, which was not that bad. I had some uh, Modellos. And uh, in the famous words of Jim Morrison, I woke up this morning and I got myself a beer. That's not going to do here. It's a little more than 5 in the morning, but why not, why not have this right now? You guys take care. All right. Okay, I just dropped off my hotel key. Um, that's where I stayed right there. And we're gonna drive past the big tourist attraction here, which is three stacks and a rock. And that's coming from the seaside in. It's not that far, so we can, hey, look at the tree, little breeze going on. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. So let me try to situate the camera just while I drive out, and then we'll figure something else out. All right. Uh, this was a nice little stay. Even though, you know, I came, I got here a little bit later. There's a three stack right there. Except for, you know, because the angle, it looks like one stack and there's the rock. Three stacks and a rock. It's 10 after 10 right now. So there's the three stacks. Originally, I wanted to walk down there, but you know how that goes. You know how that goes where you know, it's like, okay, I'll be ready to roll by 9.30, but no, I'm not ready to roll by 9.30, it's 10. So here's the giant three stacks. It's a natural gas plant that was built in 1950 by PG&E. Shut down six years ago, decommissioned. <laughs> Look at the wagon right there. Look at the wagon right there. So there's a three stacks. And apparently they have a lot of uh, tourist t-shirts and memorabilia about these things. You know, got the stacks right there. And the rock. <sighs> okay. And then as soon as I make a U-turn here, I'm going to pull over the side because someone's... U turn, I'm gonna hit to Pismo Beach. Alright, so uh, that's that, man. That's uh, three stacks in a rock. Alright.